Yo, I'm Bob, totally blind since birth into Star Wars, talking about Season 2, Episode 5 of The Bad Batch on Disney+. Plus. This one's called Entombed. Spoilers ahead, watch the episode before listening to my thoughts, jumping right in, and you were warned. So lots of Indiana Jones vibes as I watched the episode a few weeks back. I did like getting to know the character of Fee Genoa a little better as the episode premiered. I think the only other episode we saw her in was the season two premiere, but she's front and center in this episode. I liked seeing the aliens voiced by Liam O'Brien and Sam Regal again. Um, when I get around to re-watching season one and reviewing those episodes, I'll talk about them a bit more. Always cool to see folks in the other fandoms I'm interested in uh, showing up in Star Wars. I'm talking about Critical Role, of course, and uh, so many other uh, things in which they've been voicing characters over the years. So you've got Omega and Wrecker. They have found a compass leading them to what Fee calls Skaranol. And I love that name. It sounds rather foreboding. They go to an unidentified planet, and throughout the episode... I mean, they're just solving puzzles. It really reminds me quite a bit of, you know, Indiana Jones, Legends of the Hidden Temple, funnily enough, because, you know, D. Baker, he voiced Olmec back in the day. Um, you have this fanged cave creature, mountain creature that is stalking them throughout the episode. I do miss Rampart and Crosshair. Kind of wish they would have shown up in a, a bit of a B story in this episode. Still had fun with the episode, especially when they did find the heart of the mountain. That's the treasure they were looking for throughout the entire episode. They removed it and, well, we get the coolest part of the episode, in my opinion, when Scar and all itself, this giant walker mech, just bursts out of the mountain that's firing this big beam. I know it is a huge mech. We'll probably never get it in the vintage collection, but, uh, you know, a guy can dream, can he not? They have to return the heart to the mountain, and when they do that, well, the toy breaks, nobody saved the receipts, and they don't have anything to take back with them. So no treasure, but I did like the connections to lore in Star Wars. I love when folks find these ancient weapons scattered throughout the galaxy. From what I've seen on Twitter here and there, folks are speculating that, that this mech probably has ties to the Zepho. I want to go back and rewatch the cutscenes from jedi fallen order i've seen them a few times it has been a long time since i've watched them i don't play the games of course because i can't no text to speech and audio cues but i do go back and watch them uh, from time to time so it'll be fun to rewatch those before jedi survivor comes out i'll be watching those uh, cutscenes from survivor as well but yeah pretty fun episode i would give it Maybe a 9.5 out of 10. Really wanted to see just a little bit of the Empire in the episode. But I still had quite a bit of fun while watching the episode. Hopefully we'll see more of Fee's character uh, over the coming weeks. I would have posted a review of this episode earlier this week. But we have had some pretty icy weather uh, here in my neck of Texas. So it's been impossible to do any videos Um so the next episode we're going to be talking about is one of my favorites. We're going to be going to Kashyyyk. The episode has already aired. It's called Tribe, so be here for that. And I'll hear you then. May the Force be with you.